For Christmas 2015, both my kids received brand new bikes. After doing some research online, I found an Aussie brand called Bike Hay, designed by a Melbourne guy named Warren Key. Uh, at $400 each, they're definitely not on the cheap end of things, but my kids love riding, and so do I. And reviews of the Bike Hay bikes seemed entirely positive, uh, so we splashed out and got my seven-year-old daughter the Bike Hay E450 with three-speed internal gearing. My daughter recently turned seven years old. She's 122 centimetres tall and weighs just under 20 kilograms. So she fits the E450 model, which the website says fits kids aged roughly five to eight years old and between 110 and 132 centimetres in height. We chose to go for the boy's frame rather than the girl's step-through frame uh, so that it could be handed down to her younger brother when they both need to move up a size. I hung my daughter's bike on my luggage scale off the hill's hoist out the backyard uh, and it says that this bike weighs 10.2 kilograms or about 22 pounds for those using Imperial. That's a kilogram lighter than her old bike, even though the new bike is a size bigger, it's got bigger wheels, has an extra handbrake and also has three gears. If you choose an E450 bike without gears, you do get several various colour options on the frames for boys and the girls frames designs but with the internal gearing you only get this particular blue for the boys frame uh, which is a really nice electric blue uh, thank goodness my daughter's grown out of the stage where everything needs to be pink the e450 has 20 inch wheels that are 1 3 8 inch wide uh, and this particular bike that we received came with very smooth looking tires they're not a full slick tyre, they have a subtle dimple pattern um, I've tried to photograph. Every other model of Bike A bike I saw on the shop floor at our local bike store had some sort of subtle tread pattern. For example, this is the tyre from my son's E350, but the tyres my daughter received on her 450 are very smooth. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about how they'll go if she hits a sandy corner on the footpath or the road. But realistically speaking, I'm not sure how much extra grip the other tread patterns I've seen will give either. Bike A have chosen to fit low rolling resistance tyres to their bikes rather than knobbly off-road tyres to keep weight down and help kids pedal and roll easier. All Bike A bikes come standard with a rear reflector, front reflector, chain guard, good quality pedals and a bell. All models from the 450 upwards also come with a kickstand and this one is quite stiff. My daughter really has to give it a good strong kick with her little legs to overcome the spring. As I've said, the 450 frame size also comes with single fixed gear models in various colours for boys and girls frames. But we chose the three speed internal rear hub made by SRAM to help tackle the hills around where we live and where we go for our holidays every year. Notice that the hub is entirely internal. Shimano make a three-speed internal hub, I think it's called the Nexus, but they've got a part that sticks out and hangs off the side of the hub. And on kids' bikes, it usually has to come with a little metal bash guard to protect it from damage. But the SRAM version is entirely enclosed, so it looks much neater visually and less likely to break. Having gears on the new bike isn't like having a rocket strapped to her bike uh, when you've still only got seven-year-old legs but it definitely does help my daughter. We chose the three-speed internal gears for simplicity. I didn't want to overwhelm her with too many gear options for her first geared bike. And I didn't want an external derailleur being broken by an accidental crash or a drop because we all know how rough kids can be sometimes with their bikes. My daughter does find it a bit challenging to change into the bigger gears. You can see how much effort she's having to put in to twist up into gears two and three, but she's getting the hang of it. The Bike Hay E450 comes with kid-sized handbrakes for front and rear wheel braking, but because the gears are internal in the rear hub, they allow the bike to still retain the back foot pedal brake, the coaster brake, which is really important for little kids. As you can see, right now the handbrakes are still a bit too big for her to really get a good confident grip on them, so having the foot brake is good peace of mind for all of us. Keep in mind that you will not get rear foot braking on a bike with a rear derailleur, which the 450 frame size does have as an option for kids who are more confident with changing gears. 
Uh, bike Aid do make an 8 speed model in the 450 frame size which has handbrakes only. So just keep that in mind if you're considering a bike with extra gears. So there you go. Hopefully uh, this review has given you some helpful information about the Bike Aid E450. If you have any more questions, please leave me a comment below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching.